Hello, my name is Alexandra Golfis, and at the end of the semester, I will have 21 hours underneath my belt um, going towards my master's in clinical mental health counseling. <clears throat> um, in the future, I plan to practice as a therapist um, under my licensing, licensing, I don't know if that's the right word, um, through my master's program. Uh, eventually, the goal is to one day open up my own practice. I've always been drawn towards making people feel better. Um, as a kid, I always was trying to make people laugh, especially during those hard times. So I'm excited to get to work in a field where I get to not only help people laugh tempor temporarily through the pain, but also heal through their pain. Um, Currently, I'm actually engaged myself, so I found the class material to be of um, extra significant value and provide, provided me a lot of insight for both myself and um, for my future clients. <laughs> However, um, just as each client is unique and has their own sets of needs that are based off of their uniqueness, um, also as a student, I am unique, and so I did find certain things of more value than other throughout the semester. <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, so I'm um, reflecting on the semester's assignments. I found the genogram assignment provided the least personal value for myself. Um, this is just due to personal reasons. Once again, it's, you know, unique needs. Um, so... Yeah, my enormous and complex family tree made it really hard for me to gain insight from forming my own genogram, especially within three generations. I found that kind of limiting and um, using the software, oh, hey, no, sir. Using the software that was provided uh, also was limited unless I actually paid for the application myself. I apologize for the interruption. Um, so yeah, basically all the cons kind of outweighed the pros in that assignment. I definitely still think there was values. Um, while a genogram may not have been the most insightful tool for my own self-reflection, I still believe it was overall beneficial. I plan to use the hands-on experience I gained to help my clients in the future that may benefit from it. Um, just because I didn't doesn't mean that other clients can't and there's definitely lots of insights that can be gained from a genogram. The assignment that I found the most valuable um, during the semester was definitely the case study and assessment paper. Um, I enjoyed being able to apply the knowledge gained throughout the semester uh, to a hypothetical family and situation. By analyzing a family through a case study, I feel I was able to gain a clearer insight into theories of counseling and how they apply in real life, you know, dynamics and scenarios. Um, this especially helped me feel confident in my theoretical approach that I kind of favor and tend to use in the future of my own practice. Of course, there's um, multiple theories and perspectives I'm kind of merging into one to make my own perspective. Um, so while I learned a broad range of concepts and theories to marriage and family counseling, the main underlying theme I noted behind every technique and theory was the promotion of um, healthy communication and coherent co fusion in clients' relationships. I hope to use this insight to help clients address their problems by educating them on the um, complexity of varying family dynamics. Through this deeper, more complex understanding of family dynamics, I hope that clients can learn to make better informed decisions, ultimately reducing conflicts in the relationships and promoting stability. Um, yeah, so I apologize for my dogs crying in the background. I definitely forgot to put them up this time, but uh, the semester provided a lot of great inside. Uh, even the challenges, like I'm a little bit more shy, so the vlogs are kind of intimidating to me, but it helped me to not just be so, um, like almost monotone, you know, just like repeating what you read from the book or rewriting it out in a different way, but actually truly comprehending it. Um, well, I had a great semester with everyone. I really enjoyed reading all of y'all's input and I can't wait to see y'all's input and see what y'all decided on mentioning or not mentioning. And hopefully I'll see you um, throughout the rest of our journey towards our masters.